Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to this week's vlog. This week, I've come on a little adventure, a little road trip. I've come a few hours up the road. Um, I wonder if you can guess where I am with this very big hint behind me. A bit of a, bit of a clue. Anyway, I'm going to, uh, I can see the person in question hiding behind. She's been very busy sweeping the yard and making it all tidy. Maybe I'll, I'll wait a minute till I introduce you. friend of mine. I've known her since, I think I met her at Burley one year. Anyway, I'm going to pan round and oh, little peek, meet Abby Bolton of TikTok Eventing. So I've come to see Abby today because one, we haven't seen each other for two years, two years so which is disgraceful. <laughs> Abby is literally my number one, <laughs> no, Abby's my number one coach um, from afar because whenever I have a problem or if I'm at an event, I'll give Abby a call and be like, Abby, help me. I'm like, I need some words of confidence and, you know, inspiration and motivation. Anyway, Abby's the one because Abby, fun fact, rode, were you the youngest person to ride at Burley ever? No, not ever. I was the youngest person Damn. to. That was, that was nearly my fun so fact. So close. <laughs> the years that I did it, 2015 and 16, I was the youngest person to complete. And how old are you? 21 and 22. So, 21 <laughs> years old, going around a five star. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> terrifying. I can barely get around a one. <laughs> it's not about that. But today, Abby is really, really kindly letting me get an insight of what it's like around her wonderful five, five star yard. Also, <laughs> also going to introduce me to some of her horses and one or two you may recognise. But anyway, should we go for a yard tour now? Let's do it. She's cleaned up for me especially, <laughs> so be rude not to. <laughs> so, we have recently had new stable Ooh. on the inside, so I can't wait. Look at this, oh, I... <laughs> so... Uh, we used to have like breeze block stables beforehand until uh, a certain Benjamin decided to rub his bow on it. And who's Benjamin? Benjamin is the main man, old man, five star. The five star horse. <laughs> he rubbed his bum so much on one of the walls, it was pretty much going like this. Tried to fix them, but we decided to stuff it. We're having a Yay, new stable. Okay. Feed room. I'll tell you what. Oh, turn the light on. Yeah. Oh, I'm seeing whiteboards, and I want a few more. This is whiteboards great. as well. Oh, oh when is thirsty? Yeah, I got the dogs with <laughs> me too. Mum's a bit of a. I say mum's a bit of a hoarder. I'm also a bit of a hoarder. She likes buckets and containers. Yeah. So anything that's empty is yes. still here. Yeah. Just on the top shelf when it's empty, Brilliant. it kind of makes its way up, and we like to hoard things. Because we now have some space and we also hoard loads of rugs, we have got the rugs we're currently kind of maybe using every single day. Hung up here. Hung up. <laughs> hung up. Hung up. Hung up. Yeah. Or hanged. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Ta da! Yay! They're a little bit smaller, but we still, we've always liked big stables. Oh, Paddy, you don't look so grumpy. We decided that some of them are quite grumpy when they have their feed. So it's easier to have like the block partition here and they can see each other yes. through the bars on the other side. Very good. Both these are liveries. And then, Gino, come on. Who recognises this horse, guys? Yeah. Who knows who this is? Like Jekyll and Hyde. As I said, some of you might recognise this horse here and he will actually feature in another vlog of mine. I'll be going to National Racehorse Week where I'll be visiting where Gino was trained because once upon a time, three years ago, I got Gino off the track to train as an ex-racer. So I thought, do you know what? I want this horse to go and live his best life, reach his full potential with someone way more experienced than me. Don't bite me. Hence why I, yeah, he's come to Abby's. Um, we know who this is. Akina Z. Ooh. Um, also known as Pit Squeak, who I've said if Benjamin's king of the art, then she's 
She's got one heck of a jump on her, that's all I can say. <laughs> so this was the folding box, hence why it's massive. Ooh. Um, but we just had this little project there of mine. It's got the smallest horse in it. The tiniest horse in it. <laughs> this is Lely, she's a five year old, um, which is my little project that I bought admittedly last year. And I just haven't had the time, but I've got the time now. So Abby is now taking Lely. Is that yeah. her name? Yeah, Lely. Like Lely, but with an E. Lely, <laughs> like Lily with an E. Um, across the way, which is the technical term. To yard term. number two. To yard number two. So we get a. Uh, Peak of that. Lead the way, Lelly. Let's go. So we're going over to yard number two. We've just bumped into the lovely Lucy. <laughs> Yay, Lucy yeah. Bolton, who is Abby's number one woman. Yeah. yeah. And you can see she's carrying. Look at <laughs> look at what Lucy's carrying here. Literally doing all the work. What have you done today, Abby? I've been tired. <laughs> it looks like you've been doing some grooming. Yeah. So, oh my gosh. And also, I haven't actually said yet, guys. See this little doggy here who's sniffing Figgy's bum? <laughs> That's her mummy. Yay, it's your mummy. We've got a bit of a family reunion. <laughs> we've got Tiggy, and then we've got, obviously, Fig. And then we've got Fidget, who's Fig's half-sister. And then we've got Dino, who we haven't seen yet because, well, it's in season. And uh, we don't want them. Cafforting together. <laughs> it's not the right word, not that he is it? Know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> some playing. Wanna do some playing? Who's that? Sister. Oh, okay. This is the footage that everyone wants to see. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so adorable. Your mate. I know. This so who are these? Who this are these? This is people? our homebred for your yeah. Charlie. Yeah. Oh. Thanks, mate. <laughs> this is Mum's sister. Also homebred. Oh. Twenty-one years old. It's a very family affair here, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> At TikTok <laughs> Nutty, eventing. Which is what my five-year-old Billy is. Oh, and we'll meet Billy in a second. And I like Billy. Yeah. I wonder why I like Billy. Billy's got big ears like yeah. his mummy. <laughs> So we've turned Lely out and now there's a surprise stables which wasn't here last time I came. <laughs> They've literally suddenly popped up and they're all doo -doo -doo, in here. Lovely. Let's have a look see who's in here then. Lovely. Who have we got? Oh, Harry the first one. Hello Harry. This is Billy. <laughs> oh Billy. This is the one that we had from Nutty. He's massive. He's huge. He's about he's 16. Big. 317 hands, maybe growing a little oh bit more than that. Oh my gosh, look at you. Bye. Bam, bam, bam. This is the big guy. Here he is. Benjamin! Yay! Oh, oh he's like, oh gosh. This is Tilston TikTok, or Ben. This is the burly horse. He's now 19. 19. Does not act or feel like it. No, still very much um, a sprightly chap. But we'll be giving him a jump. Yeah. So you'll get to see yes. We've got Joseph, who is our two-year-old, mm -hmm. who Mum bought in. You bought him when it was a foal, didn't you? He's by Bazaar's exclusive, so same dad as Charlie. This is Beanie, who was born last year. Oh. She's only a yearling, and she is uh, by Romero B. <gasps> Ooh. Um, out of our um, out of Willow, who is again same mum as Charlie and the little foal. Like the camera? Do. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's you. <laughs> that's you. You've got another okay. baby though, haven't you? That you're hiding. A tiny weeny baby. A tiny well, weenie baby. Yeah, she's got very long legs. Will we see the tiny weeny baby? Go see the tiny weenie Yay. Hello. Oh. Hi, sweetie. Got a new oh. friend. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think I found it. Now we've had the epic yard tour. Abby is bringing in someone very special behind me. It's Ben. And Abby's going to have a sit and uh, show me some of his moves. And then she's told me to get my hat because I might be having a sit on him as well. Eek! Which is very exciting because obviously he's a five star horse. He's been around Burley. It's not every day you get to ride a five star horse, so I'm absolutely. Yeah, so, so excited and hope I don't fall off or embarrass myself. 
So he was uh, brought over from Germany as a two-year-old to a show jumping yard. They went training somewhere and they jumped down like a treble or a few fences. He had every single one down. <laughs> uh, so like, okay, it's not going to be a show jumper, maybe it's an event will happen. I've had him now for 10 years. 10 hey, years. Now. I was 15 and he was nine. He'd only gone up to novice. So Abby is just working Ben in as we speak, having little trots. Is this how you normally work him in, Abby? Just a bit of trot. She's winging it. She wings it. He's apparently he's too old to be told what to do, and I kind of get that because Lara is quite the same. She's like, let me do what I do. I do me, Mum. Anyway, I've also just got to. I'm poo girl now, so I'm gonna go pick up this poo. I lift you up. Just let me know. When she gets tough, do you feel the way I do? My baby. Do you see me like I see you? My lady. I love you. But I Abby's just informed me that I will be sitting on him before she jumps in because otherwise I'll be probably off into the next universe. So very good idea, Abby. Thank you. Just on and go. <laughs> oh, he's actually standing. That's <laughs> because I'm such a good horsewoman, Abby. <laughs> <laughs> That's must just be, unfair. Must be my. Uh, oh, my am I still okay? You see, make it. How do they feel to you? Yeah, good. How do I look? Oh, fabulous. Yeah. Ben right, looks now he's like, no, less impressed. Now I'm not going to go on the bit ever. <laughs> <laughs> right, go ahead, squeeze. I feel like a novice. Oh God, I'm going to walk into the poles. Oh my God, it's like you just have to touch the rain and he's. He's like, there. Yeah. Hello from on board Benjamin. Benjamin Button going for a little ride. I've got on this horse and immediately his like the bend is incredible. He just does what you want. It's so nice. Should we have a Well, not as much as Lara Oh look at me! You're gonna have to give me a lesson, Abby. What does my position look like? Oh, thank you. Trotty, trotty? Yeah. Okay. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. The boy. He's got such a... He like fires you out of the saddle, doesn't he? No, we're not jumping, don't worry. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm out of breath. I think I'm just scared. <laughs> no, I'm not cat. I didn't I didn't ask for that, but okay. Yep, he obviously wanted just to get on with it. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing up there? If I put this, when I show people this GoPro footage, they'll be like, why is his head so high in the air? Well, like, because I can't ride him. Good boy, it's all right. It's okay. Ooh. Oh, oh my God. He's like, okay. Oh, oh, what a good boy. I just don't want to ruin him. That's you can't ruin him. I don't think you'll ever ruin him. I don't know, I feel like I might. No. He looks like he's angry. He's normal. 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 I don't, can't remember the last person, anyone that, I think mum was the last person that sat on him that wasn't me. Really? Yeah. So no one really rides him? No. no, I think, I, obviously I ride him, I've done for 10 years. What a privilege. Slash, is there a reason that no one else rides him? I just don't let them. Spencer's ridden him, Jeanette Brakewell's ridden him. Wow. 
because she rode in when I did my right. back. Yeah, my neck, quite <laughs> Aww, he looks very springy. He is so springy. Yeah, he is in the trot. That's why, like, you know, imagine having to do sitting trot to that. Oh. That's my issue. <laughs> <laughs> because he's a llama! <laughs> Literally, you can just say whoa and he'll drop. <laughs> oh my god! I have just had a sit on the lovely Ben who looked after me very well, even though. I was really bad. I'm going to say that I haven't ridden properly for over a month, so I'm going to use that as my excuse. But also, it's that feeling when you get on someone else's horse. I mean, normally when you get on someone else's horse, but let alone a five-star horse, and you think, ah, I don't want to get this wrong. So, yeah, now I'm going to watch how to do it properly. And Abby is flying around the corner now. Whee! <laughs> Well, no, that was so great to watch Ben, the athlete, in action. It just shows that what well, good horse and rider partnership can do. So, yeah, and he does love his job. He really loves his job. It's easy to easy to see that. And that's where the show jumper obviously is in him. Whew, so I've just about recovered from my very exhilarating ride on Ben and watching Abby do the same. And we're sitting out here on this glorious evening wrapped up in our coats because I want to tell you about a really exciting giveaway, yay, that I'm collaborating with Abby on, two of our favourite brands to give you guys the chance to win, well, two epic prizes. So the first one is, do, 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 see if you can... See that Abby's going to give you now an exclusive run through. So both of us are very lucky to be supported by Volta Design. And Abby here is so wonderfully demonstrating what you guys could win. So firstly, you have this white Volta Design cap. Lovely dressage. Saddle pad. Dressage saddle pad, look at that. Ooh. Oh, what's on your lanyard? Well, aside, oh, well. aside from the lanyard. Aside from the Voltaire lanyard itself. Let's get a close up there. Oh, your nails look good. By oh, way. thank you. Voltaire design socks. Love that. And a key ring as well. That is the first prize that you can win in our bundle. Now, the second brand. Another bundle. I'm not sure if you'll be able to, um, to guess <laughs> what it is. <laughs> You ready for this? <laughs> if I haven't told you, the brand is, if you haven't guessed, Fairfax and Favour. Abby has been a supportive rider for many a years. I have a slightly different involvement with the brand, but I'll let you guys work that one out. Dan, 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 dan. It's another box. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. You get a lovely gift wrapped anonymous parcel. But this, guys, is how your prize will come in the signature Fairfax and Favour wrapping. Who's that on the cover of the catalogue? It's Fig! That's you! Look! It's you! I'm sorry, Willa. Sorry. You're in the Christmas video, though. Oh, that's nice. Look! Here we go! Right, should we go inside? Let's see what the box has inside. Can you move out of the way, please? Fig's really interesting. <laughs> Fig's like, look, what is it? Oh, yes! Win! What is oh, she says, what is she says, I can smell floppy. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Look at this. This is the <laughs> brand new for autumn winter <laughs> 21 Charlotte Gilet. Now they did this last year in jacket form and now they've done it in a gilet. And I believe you can take the hood off. It's really nice and padded. 
It's got fleecy lining. Do you know what? I'm just going to put it on and show you actually. So I better actually explain how you enter the giveaway. The giveaway is going to be run over on my Instagram page, Footloose Eventing. I'll put it there for you. A winner will be picked at random in a week's time. So you don't have long. So there we have it. That concludes day one of my two day trip to TikTok eventing. But day two, hmm, what does day two have in store? Something big is happening tomorrow. Absolutely massive. <laughs> if you want to find out what is happening tomorrow, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Even turn on the little -ling 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 notification bell so you don't miss out the news. And trust me, you really, 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 really don't want to miss this. But until then, I'm going to say goodbye from me. Goodbye from Abby. Farewell. And if you like this vlog, give it a like, leave me a comment, maybe take a guess at what the news is. What could the news be? What could we be doing tomorrow? Uh, but yeah, until then, I will see you, <laughs> see you guys very soon. Bye. Say bye. Bye. So you gonna say I'm bye? Gonna like this. Bye. Bye.